Hi, my name is Garnet Hertz, and I'm going to show part of the process about how I made this book, and I'm going to show how you can make your own booklets. I've used Adobe InDesign to lay this book out, and uh, you can use virtually any application, uh, Microsoft Word, Pages, Notepad, or whatever, uh, as a piece of software to lay it out. InDesign has a unique feature that allows you to put multiple pages beside each other. If you're using an application like uh, Word or Pages, you'll only see the one page at a time. So that's something that's unique with uh, InDesign. The problem with us printing out something like this is that it'll look like this. Okay. If you try to put this into a booklet, it doesn't work. Okay, you staple this, first of all the cover is screwed up, uh, and like this, it's only on one page, the facing pages aren't proper, or whatever, okay. So this doesn't do us much good. The kind of magic that we need to do is um, preparing it for printing as a booklet. And the easiest way to do that is to take whatever application we have, export or print to a PDF file and then take that PDF file and um, change the settings in Adobe Acrobat Pro so that it creates a booklet. What it gives us is a PDF that has each page in sequence one after the other. So here we go. We scroll down here, those two pages, then we have that, and that. Uh, we got a print in page scaling. There's page scaling none, fit to printable area, shrink to printable area, tile large pages. We go to booklet printing, okay? It actually prints double sided and it puts everything in order so that it goes like this. Okay. After our printer chugs out the uh, printer printed file, it does this. It can be folded like that. So if you staple this and trim it, you have your booklet. One trick with making booklets is that most standard staplers will have a hard time reaching this far. They're normally maybe this long. So what you need to find or buy is a uh, saddle stapler, it's like this, or a long arm or long reach stapler. So that's folded like that. Now what we wanna do, stick this in here. Now we don't wanna uh, staple it right at the edge because we're gonna cut that off. So we come in Hope for the best. Give it a couple staples. I found that um, two staples actually works better than three. So that we have the staples on the inside. So you put it in. You can see on the other side, I'm lining up where I want to cut and I'm clamping this down. Ready? All right, then we have the first cut on the right. If you're doing lots of booklets, I tend to put stickers or tape on the, uh, on the cutting bed so I know where to line up the stuff. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid that I'm cutting off too much here. It's always best to cut off too little. So you can always cut more, but you can't put it back. There. This cut is pretty cool because you can cut through very thick stuff. So then we have this. So this is what it looks like when it is trimmed and looks fantastic. Now, um, the copy that I did last night here was trimmed with scissors. And this is perfectly fine to do that, or you don't even have to trim it. Um, 
but you definitely get a different look. You can see that this looks much more almost frilly edge. Uh, and part of the reason there is that it's just really difficult to cut through this many sheets of paper at the same time with a pair of scissors. So, so that's it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.